Listen, even with everything that I now understand about my last partner and the toxic and often narcissistic tendencies and behavior that he exhibited, I will say that I learned so much about the anxious avoidant dance. And I think that yes, I think the answer to this question is yes. If both partners are willing, that is the common denominator. Is your partner willing to learn about himself or herself? Are they willing to figure out what their triggers are? Are they willing to communicate those with you? Are you guys both able to sit down when you're regulated and talk about how it feels in your body when you're dysregulated and all of the things that you're thinking? And then can you come up with some sort of agreement that when you're triggered one or the other, that you can show up for each other? And if both of you are triggered, that you can give each other what you need in that moment to pacify the situation momentarily and then come back together and be committed to discussing it. I don't want to vilify avoidance as an anxiously attached person because they are just as insecure as the anxiously attached. They come from a place of wounding. I have empathy for them and I don't want to slash out 50% of the population because of their attachment style. That's just not realistic. We are all hurting. So I think it comes down to are both parties willing to work on it? Is there a good communication foundation between the two of you. Can you sit down and discuss these things? I think if you do not have communication and that has not been solidified, then no, I don't think you can make it work. I am not a professional and I'm speaking from experience, but without a desire from both parties and open communication, I don't know how you make this anxious avoidant dance work. I also want to say that being in this sort of dynamic was exponentially helpful to my personal growth. I learned so much about myself. It was a mirror back to me of all the ways that I needed to heal. And I cared about him. And so that motivated me to want to heal so that I could show up for him. I think if both parties have that motivation and concern for one another, it can be a beautifully transformative relationship. I'm going into my next relationship now, knowing so much more about myself, being able to take responsibility for my dysregulation, being able to show up for myself, not asking another person to heal me, not asking another person to fill in the gaps where I will not heal. I have empathy for the avoidant as well. If I end up with an avoidant, I know so much more about them now and I can have conductive, conducive conversations with them because I know now where they're coming from. I also know how to advocate for my needs because of this last relationship. So I think these types of dynamics can be truly life-changing.